Warrior would bring an energy and excitement to WWE that had never been seen before. All the little warriors can depend on one thing. The Ultimate Warrior will bring it to ya! With the support of the WWE Universe, the Ultimate Warrior would make a splash with his unique style, strength, and speed. The Ultimate Warrior's momentum was reaching a fever pitch, and the time had come for the intense competitor from Parts Unknown to set his sights on the reigning Intercontinental Champion. Never been beaten, can't be beaten, won't be beaten by anybody. Line them up, <laughs> and I'll knock them down. For 454 days, the Honky Tonk Man reigned as the Intercontinental Champion, and in his arrogance, he would make an ill-fated challenge going into 1988 SummerSlam. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest, scheduled for one fall, is for the Intercontinental Championship. Approaching the ring, led by his manager, Colonel Jimmy Hart, from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing 248 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, the Hockey Tom Man. Big smile on the face of the Hockey Tonk Man, despite not even knowing who his opponent will be. Let me ask you, Michael Cole, is there anyone in WWE as cocky? Oh, man, look at this. Cocky and arrogant as the Hockey Tonk Man. I guess he has a reason to be. Here he goes again. And his opponent. Like he's got something to say. Give me somebody out here to wrestle. I don't care who it is. Is this you in a challenge? Says he doesn't care who it comes out. Bobby Cutler, what you wish for, Hunky Tonk Man? Oh, look at this. Warrior, the ultimate warrior, unloading that Hunky Tonk. Look at Hunky Tonk Man. Oh, a big scoop slam from the Warrior! This place has come up glued! Oh, Warrior with a big shoulder block on Honky Tonk Man! Warrior is on fire and Jimmy Hart is beside himself! Look at that clothes like, oh! Warrior won't stop! Ultimate Warrior with a big splash and he hits it! This could be it! Hook of the leg and it's over! It's over! Warrior he wins! Can't. History has been made here at SummerSlam. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at this place go bananas. Well, that's what you do if you want to win bad enough. You go out there and you take it. What an unbelievable moment. I'm still stunned as is this New York City crowd.